A candlestick, put simply, is a charting tool that helps show an asset's movement. It was invented by a Japanese rice merchant to help track market prices and momentum. The reason why it's so highly regarded is because it shows the stock's open, top, bottom, and close. And if it's a green candle or red candle, which helps determine the direction of the stock. Candles also help traders make plays as they sometimes show repeat patterns. Now, candles can be used for different time frames. It can represent movements as small as a minute or up to a week. Usually shorter time frames like a minute are for more aggressive traders like day traders, while longer time periods are more for swing traders. So let's break it down with an example. For this example, we'll be charting a five minute candle. We'll create a pretend stock called Stev, which is trading at $100. It's 9.04 AM and the clock just hit 9.05, so a new candle is born. Now, in order to determine if it's gonna be a red candle or green candle, we need to see how the stock's price fluctuates. So at 9.05, Stev is at $100. And then if Stev drops to 97 and is still 9.05 AM, we'll see that the open is at the $100 mark. The body is the range of movement from the open. So since we dropped $3 in the same minute, the body will span across those $3. Okay, so it's now 9.07 AM and Stev drops even lower to $90. Now the body's even larger and shows a huge red range of a $10 drop. At 9.09, Stev then goes back to $97. You'll see here at the bottom now a wick and the low. The wick is telling us, hey, this stock dropped $10 in this candle's five minute time frame. The low is telling us that the bottom is $90 currently. It can go lower, but for now it's $90. Now this next example is unrealistic for such a short time frame, but if at 9.09, Stev actually rose to 110, the candle would actually flip from red to green. The open is still the same because at 9.05, Stev opened at $100, but now it's reversed and it's green. Right before 9.10 strikes, Stev is at 105. So let's review what we have here. We have the open at 9.05 AM for $100. We have the body, which initially went down, but then flipped up into the stock price rising. We have the high of 110 and the low of $90. Just one thing to note here, red candles open and close are flipped since a red candle closes lower than the open. Candles also help us determine momentum in the form of velocity of price movements, whether it's in an upward or downward trend. Let's take a look at some real world examples to understand this. Let's use Tesla as an example. I chose a random date, but look at the one minute chart. Normally you'll wanna use multiple indicators like RSI, MACD, volume, and more. But for these examples, let's use only the candles. So it shows you multiple points to buy in and sell. You can make quick profits on these, but it's stressful as you have to constantly watch the candles. Versus the five minute chart, it shows a much more relaxed play with a single great buy-in point and a good sell point. And then on the one day chart, it shows that it's above the SMA line, but just barely. We also have candles that appear gray or very, very small body candles here called dojis. These are candles that opened and closed at the same price. Normally, the longer the wick, the higher the price rejection. So a doji with a tall wick above it is called a gravestone, and it means that the sellers are beating down on the price. Now if it's a tall wick below, also called a dragonfly, that means that the buyers are winning and not allowing the stock to plummet further. I hope you're now able to understand what candles are and their function. In an upcoming video, I'll be explaining how bars create certain patterns and how you can utilize them. Be sure to subscribe, and if you found the video helpful, please give it a like. My first goal is to reach 100 subscribers, and I'm hoping that you can help me reach it. Thanks so much, and as always, keep making great trades.